Welcome to my Fanic Robot Guide Tutorial Channel. Hey guys, let's continue our tutorial basic pick and place part 2. If you haven't go through with the part 1, click the link below. Or find basic pick and place tutorial 1 from my channel. Today we going to do with the tasks below. User frame attached to fixtures. Add part array on fixtures. Place position offset program. Open your robot guide and then click on the previous saved work cell to continue our tutorial. After the work cell loading completed, expand the robot controller menu from the cell browser, and then expand the GP1R2000SE robot name. From the list, expand user frame and then double click at user frame 1. Go to the pop out window, drop down the attached column. And then select the PLT 1100 by 1100. Then apply the setting. Now, check the edit U frame box, and then, set the value accordingly. Now, the position of user frame will attach to the top surface of the palette. Rename the user frame name to identify the usage. Then apply the settings again. Double click on the palette to open its properties. Then select the parts tab. If your part not shown on the palette, check the visible at teach time box. Then click apply. Now, check the edit part offset box and then move the part to the corner as shown. Then adjust the value. Or you can set the value accordingly. Before we add the part array, check the origin of fixture triad direction. Our current part size is 250 mm in X direction and 430 mm in Y direction. So, the offset from the current part position need to go for negative value. After apply the setting, click the add button to add array of part. From the origin part center. The next part will need to offset to negative x direction of the fixture with its own size or bigger than that. I will set it to exactly negative 250 mm. We need to apply some gap for the gripper to open, so, set the y in negative 610 mm. As we known, the pallet size is 1100 mm by 1100 mm, so, we can fit in 4 parts in X direction and 2 parts in Y direction without over the size of palette. After click OK button, the part will generate it automatically. If you want to modify the offset of array, click delete button to clear all the part then add the array again with new value. Now, we check the reachability of robot to all the part we added. Select the part from the list, and then click move to button. After done check the position, select the first part in the list and then click move to the part. Now, we need to open the teach pendant to modify the program. Click at select button then select pick conveyor program. Insert an empty line above the approach pick position. Then move cursor to the empty line. After that, Click instruction button and select next page, from the list and then click at the offset slash frame. Now, choose U frame number, and then choose constant from the following list. Key in 0 to the constant. In the place palette program, we need to switch the user frame number according to the points touch up referred to user frame number. So, we have to switch the user frame number to 0 before move to palette point, and change user frame number to 1 before run the place palette point. Now, we have to touch up the reference position of the first part on the palette. 
Move the cursor to motion instruction that without offset at the behind. Hold shift button and then click coordinates button to view the current active user frame. After confirm the user number to reference, release the shift button and click previous button to exit the yellow pop-out list. Click next button to change the function bar, then hold shift and click touch up button. Release shift button and then click no to reply the dialog. Input 1 to the second dialog, and then click enter to complete the touch up. When new position recorded, the at symbol will appear in front of the motion instruction. Don't forget to change back the user frame to zero after the placing point. Continue to modify our main program. Click at select button, and then open main program. Add on the user frame instruction to avoid the user frame mismatch alarm. Let's move on to prepare the offset calculation program. Open the properties of user frame 1 from the cell browser to confirm the user frame direction. X to positive direction. Then Y to positive direction. You can either go to program select page to open the program, or abort the main program then move cursor to the call instruction line, and click enter to open it. We need to prepare some register to use for the offset calculation program. Click data button, and if not data register screen appear, click type button and select data register. Click enter at the register comment column, and then input the register comment accordingly. This offset program required three offset data which is total counter, x counter, and y counter. Please follow my step. After complete the register, we need a position register to keep the offset value for next work pieces. Click the type button, and then select position register. Move cursor to comment column of PR10, and then click enter to input the comment. After input the comment. Click position button to initialize PR10 data. Key in all axes with zero, if not the uninitialized data alarm will pop out later. Check the status of the PR10 with the R at behind that replaced the asterisk symbol. It means this PR have recorded with complete data. Now, back to the program and add few lines after retract motion instruction. Normally, we place up counter after the job complete cycle. Move cursor to the first empty line, then click instruction button, and then select register instruction. From the list, select the second option. Use the register 2 here as up counter of total count. Now, select register, and then input 2 again. For the third item, select constant, and input 1. This instruction line can be explained as current value inside register to add with constant value on, and then the answer will overwrite the register 2. Click edit command button, and then select comment to enable the comment for register instruction. Add in the X counter to the next line with the same method. We need to check the amount of X value counter to calculate next row of Y offset. Use instruction button to add in the if slash select option. From the list, select the first option at the second page. Now, select register and key in the index number of register we want to check with. Now, we need to add the condition, click insert button, and then select the bigger or equal option at the last page of the list. 
the continue logic list will pop out automatically, select constant this time. As we known, the palette fitted four boxes in X direction. So, key in four at constant. Continue to next empty line at below, after X counter reached the amount of four, we need to reset the X counter so that the boxes will start placing from the front to back again. Use instruction option again, and then select register. Choose the first option from the list. After that, input X counter register and equal to constant zero. Insert some new lines again if not enough space. After we reset the X counter, we need to add the Y counter, with 1, now, input the up counter instruction for the Y counter. When we use if then instruction, we must end it with end if instruction. After, open the instruction menu, choose if, select, and then select end if. Now, we need to calculate the offset value with multiple the counter. Open instruction, and then use register menu again, select the first option. From register statement page, select the third option which refer to the index and axis of position register. For the first column, input the position register number, and the second column key in with axis x represent number as 1. After that, select register and then key in the x counter register number. Move cursor to the end of the instruction. Click choice button and then select the multiplication operator. From the continue dialog, select constant. Now, overwrite the constant to minus 250 as the box's pitch. Now, repeat the same step for Y offset calculation. We also can direct select the multiplication option from the list. Set 2 here as the reference to Y axis. Pitch for Y axis is minus 610. Now, move cursor to the approach motion instruction line then move cursor to the end of line. Click choice button, and then select offset PR bracket. Key in the position register number we apply offset calculation, then, repeat this step for all placing motion instruction. Before we edit the main program, we need to reset the data at the beginning of program. So, create a program for data reset. Now, insert empty lines to our new program. Use register instruction with first option. And then select register and input related register number inside the bracket, then select constant from the following dialog. Overwrite the constant to zero. Repeat this step to related counter and position register.
Let's back to our main program, and then add lines before the loop label. Move cursor to empty line and use call instruction to call data reset program. Move cursor to the bottom of program and place it at jump label 1 instruction, then add lines again. Now, move cursor to empty line, and then add in an if branch condition. Select the bigger equal option, and then choose register. Use the total counter for this branch instruction then overwrite the constant to 8. Select jump label add the following dialog then input to at label bracket. Move cursor to the end of program and then insert few lines. After that, Click instruction button and then select label instruction. From the list, select label. Input 2 into the bracket. Move cursor to following empty line, go to instruction button again, and then select miscellaneous. After that, select message option from the list. Now, you can click enter to input message text. This text will pop out at user screen when program executed this line. Before test run the program, go to cell browser, and then double click at the drop simulation program. Change the drop onto the PLT 1100 by 1100 with bracketed star symbol. It means drop the part to the fixture with nearest from TCP point. Close the simulation program window and reset the alarm and run the simulation. That's all for today video, I will make part 3 for this project. Stay tuned for part 3, and stay healthy for everyone. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.